Hey, it's Jason. I'm here working on a different project today. Um, on my 2007 Land Rover Range Rover L322, I have this type of key. And on this key, if you want to change the battery, you have to pop off the black thing on the back, and then you have to unscrew it. And the reason why I'm changing the battery is one, everybody should every couple years, you don't want it to go bad on you. But more importantly, I had a new key cut. And when I had the new key cut, it was a blank. I had the key cut, then I had to remove the electronics, as I showed in my other video, out of this key into a new key. So I'm trying to do my second key because while I'm not going to swap the electronics, I have no way of knowing how old this battery is and I don't want it to go bad. So typically you just pop off this little black portion on the back of the battery and you take a Phillips head screwdriver and you unscrew it. Super easy, right? It's not that difficult. I did it fairly quick when I was going through preparing for this video. However, this, this screw is stripped and it will not let me take it out. So no matter what I do, I can't get the screw on one side of the key fob out. What a pain in the butt and predicament that um, that has left me in. And you can see this screw is very small that you have to get out of the back of the key fob. And this one, it was pretty um, rounded, but it was enough for me to be able to actually get in and get it out. But the other side, forget about it. It's not coming out. So I did a lot of research about how I'm going to fix this and what I'm going to do. And, you know, you could obviously take a drill and you could start drilling it out. You could try to notch it and then use a Phillips head screwdriver after you put a notch in it to loosen it up. But I found something that I'm going to give a shot called Easy Out. You, it claims to be a broken bolt and screw extractor, various sizes, and the smallest size it comes in is this. And I'm told, and I did watch another person use it, that it will work. And what happens is you're going to put your screw gun on the reverse mode. So it's going to, you're going to want to be going counterclockwise. So a clock goes this way. You're going to want to have this turning counterclockwise, which would be that way. And you're going to start by using this end, which goes in. And I believe what it's going to do is it's going to kind of make notches in the top of the screw just enough for when he flipped a bit and do this one also in reverse, it's going to be enough for that to hook into the new notches and pull it out. So what I want to do is put the camera real close to the key and show you as I do that. And hopefully I'll get it loose. And then I bought a pack of screws, but all of the ones I got are too small. But I'll worry about getting a replacement once I get to that point. So let me flip the camera around and actually show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, so I have the key mounted to a table here. This is just my office slash kind of workroom in a sense. And I just used a quick grip to hook the key so it's nice and sturdy. And then I have the gun lined up. And supposedly, and I'm going to get kind of close here, if I do this, it will give me what I need to then back it out. So I'm going to go ahead and, and let the gun go for just a second at a nice steady space, uh, speed and see what happens. So I just did it a little bit. I'm going to do it a little bit more and I can see metal coming out of this, which you know worries me a little bit because I don't want it to break off. So I'm just going to hit it a little bit longer. And I'm going to stop there and I can actually see in here and I'm going to go in just a little bit. I can kind of see the indentations that this was making. So my hope is 
I'm going to be able to put the bit the other way, put it back in my screw gun, tighten the chuck nice and tight. And then hopefully going in reverse mode as well, that would have gave me just enough maybe to get this screw out. So let's give this a go. Lay it in. So it definitely didn't give me enough there. So I will go back to the bit. I will flip it. And I'm going to try to go a little bit deeper on the key and see if going deeper it will give me more to bite on. So here we go. Oh, look at that. It came out. I'm shocked. And I was using not even the extractor, but the actual drill. I said it came out. I don't want to speak too early. I should have kept going, huh? I was too excited. There we go. Look at that. So sure enough, it worked. I'm shocked. But I'm equally happy. So now, and you can kind of smell where that, uh, where that key was. Or where that screw was grinding in. So this worked brilliantly. So I don't know if you can see that there. But that is what happened with the screw. It basically dug into the head. It effectively looks like it made new indentations. So then the bit could bite on it and pull it out. And now I actually have access to the battery that I can pop out and go about my business. And then I can go to the hardware store and I can get replacement screws that go in here. What a fantastic little tiny drill bit setup this is. This, I guarantee it, is going to become one of my favorite tools. It was 11 bucks on Amazon. The easy out broken bolt and screw extractor. I love it. Super easy to do. I hope this video was helpful. All good on my end. I'm thrilled it worked. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to check out my blog, jams.net. And I give this thing a absolute thumbs up.